Hey, Raider Nation, it's Raider Puppet. Hey, make sure you check out episode number two of Raider Arts YouTube show. If you missed it, check it out. His special guest was the mob boss. Raider Art YouTube show episode two. Check it out. Raider Puppet. Show. Welcome to the number three of Raider Art Show. Today is the official Raiders training camp starting around summer and the preseason game is about to start next month. Now before I get into that news, make sure you hit the like, comment, and subscribe below and you can also watch this episode on my Facebook page at Raider Art Productions as well. So yeah, I mean the preseason, I can't wait to see what's going on for next month when we uh, defeated the Seattle Seahawks. Uh, at the Allegiant Stadium, and I can't wait for all the fans to come in uh, for the first time in Allegiant Stadium to watch the Raider game for the first time in Las Vegas. So with that being said, we're now getting into the news of the uh, Raiders training camp. So the training camp already got started recently, and uh, the players, current players, offense and defense, are about to be prepared, and they're going to be more healthier than ever for this year uh, to start off their uh, routine for exercise. Um, I know they have been going through ups and downs times uh, during last year because of the virus that got on them. Uh, they got fines for, you know, not wearing the mask. But um, hopefully when they get their vaccine on, uh, they'll hopefully uh, get prepared and hopefully just uh, return to favor. So, um, yeah, I mean, they went to the uh, Henderson headquarters. They are just got prepared um, even today. And so uh, that that's even amazing. You know, like some of the players will also be helping out with the um, uh, the field making the field yard uh, yard line to uh, create it and they can uh, start practicing in it so uh, now I found the schedule right here um, that the uh, article they put it out uh, they said uh, this week's schedule all practice at uh, inner mountains healthcare performance center um, it's on the Thursday it's gonna be like uh, practice from 7 30 a.m. to 9 30 a.m which that that's early in the morning to get routine and also on friday uh the practice is from 7 30 to uh, 9 3 i can't even think about it maybe a.m or i'm not sure uh early in the morning they that's their routine for the uh practice when the maybe for the offense and defense to get prepared and uh do some more exercise for that so uh they're also going to be allowing the fans to be their guests over at the uh Raiders facility in Henderson to watch the uh, training camp practice uh, uh, making sure they get their autographs so uh, the ticket prices are online and their um, their websites so if you want to get your tickets make sure you buy them uh, to go see the the current players of today so uh, I hope any of you fans are not like bashing a car uh, if he's gonna stay or not for like this year uh, they might you know maybe they might get rid of him uh, if he's not really that good enough for as a quarterback, uh, just don't just don't blame him. So um, I also go for the uh, Henry Ruggs to be prepared as a wide receiver for the offensive line. So I I actually heard that um, uh, I forgot Nelson Aguilar he got been traded by the uh, Patriots that which that sucks because um, he's also the uh, wide receiver too for the offense. So I I don't know what else to say. Uh, I just wanted to wish him the best of luck with what he does in the Patriots because they suck and I just don't even blame for like any other NFL fans to be uh, like 
accomplish or I don't know how to describe it like more optimistic for that kind of a situation in the other news we have also heard this past July 19 is that the former president of the Raiders Mark Medane has been re-signed of the Raiders so uh, kudos to him because I don't know what to say about him uh, other Raider fans are just not really appreciate him or what he done for the Raiders uh, around the late 2010s because uh, he started a role around 2015 uh, before the announcement of the Raiders moving to uh, Las Vegas which the he helped out with the concrete for the uh, new Allegiant Stadium uh, also been working with uh, Mark Davis with the situation that they supposedly announced so um, you know the Raiders were, were uh, really that good around the late 2010s because the some of the players like the current like the uh, former ones, they're not that the best, uh, more so ever, they're like the 70s, uh, the 80s, that the, they can't even get like the Super Bowl championship for the fourth, um, which it's kind of hard because it's more uh, aggressive with what the coaches do for the, the team, for the offense and defense, so um, yeah, and I'm not really sure about uh, John Gruden because, you know, John uh, John Gruden doing his best to uh make the the Raiders team for the offense and defense to be more successful uh for like any tackles uh for the defense to be more pressure for the other offensive teams the NFL teams to you know uh try to not get like push like try to get the quarterback to uh, throw the ball at the wide receiver uh you know not even like protecting this so uh yeah I mean Mark uh Mark Medane uh kudos to him and uh hopefully get the, another president for the uh Raiders um we're not re uh, we're not really sure when it hasn't been announced yet and so uh the Raiders are working hard to find another president that uh make the team more be successful for the uh for this year and we'll hopefully to see what's going on uh next when the the game is, uh, is about to start and speaking of Gruden, uh, this year, Gruden was hopefully not get the virus get to him for uh, this season to, you know, be a head coach for the Raiders uh, because he also got uh, fines for that, you know, and not wearing the mask as well. Uh, recently, he was in the press conference uh, when people asking him something about the uh, virus will get to him. Uh, this is what he said in the article. Uh, says we're not going to totally disregard where the virus is and the virus that are out there. Uh, that's what he said, um, but I'm not an expert of the virus. I'm just trying to get our football team ready to play. I'm going to do the best I can to carry out the protocols that the lead has and what our medical people advise, and we will do our uh, very best. And that's what he said in the press conference. So, uh, yeah, I can't, uh, I can't blame for Gruden. I mean, he, he might be the best coach he ever had because he has been around with the Raiders since 1998 and uh, been picked uh, in Oakland days. And unfortunately, around 2003, he got traded for the uh, Tampa Bay Buccaneers uh, to uh, win the Super Bowl, which that lameful, uh, lameful that it is because, um, you know, that, that, that kind of hurts for the Raiders, you know, that terrible year in 2003 was ridiculous to uh, lose the Super Bowl, but, um, and the other thing he said in the press conference, what he told the people that he says, every man, every woman, every person has their own opinion of what they want to do, there's some people that are strongly opposed to getting uh, the fascination, there's no people that think it's sl a slam dunk, I should get it right, always as soon as I can I can't speak for everybody I respect everybody's opinion um, and I don't want to create any controversies or any uh, distractions we're going to uh, do anything we can uh, to get our players what they need to help them uh, be successful so yeah uh, kudos to Gruden so uh, I hope he's trying his best to do what he does as a head coach uh, for this year Hopefully he will not get be traded again by the uh, Tampa Bay Buccaneers because they they obviously won the Super Bowl uh, this past February. So in uh, Florida, yeah, um, I just want to give a shout out to uh, Gruden, yeah, and uh, also shout out to uh, JG uh, JG the Brick on the Raider Nation Radio as well. I have also heard the news that uh, Darren Waller currently is the tight end for the offensive line for the Raiders. Uh, was hoping to look for for the optimistic thing for the O line. 
Um, I think the one of the offensive uh, coach Tom Cable uh, leadership. He hopefully to see uh, Darren Waller what he's gonna do for the uh, offensive for with uh, Derek Carr and uh, some of the others uh, like uh, Henry Ruggs as well. So yeah, I can't say much about uh, Darren Waller because he started coming into the Raiders uh, around 2018. Uh, before because he was playing around the Ravens from uh, 2015 to 2018 uh, which playing at that time which he would uh, find ways to have some people like Alex Leatherwood to find uh, better players to you know making their position and not uh, ended up like some of the, like the penalty flag on any uh, yard line to do what the you know the defensive players will like get to them this interesting news right here, uh, Carl Nassib, the uh, defensive end for the uh, Raiders, uh, recently, a couple months ago, has started to come out as being gay. Uh, so my opinion is, I don't even care about it. You know, like, that that kind of happens a lot to uh, other people in many ways. I mean, people are, aren't really straight or are straight, you know, get their opinions of what that what's going on in that situation. So... I don't really care because I I don't I don't blame for our Carl Nessa to you know become who he is. So uh, one of the Raiders and especially coaches just to wish him the best. You know just be who you are, especially other people too. You know be who you are, uh, giving you guys advice of who you are and being like homosexual, trans, or anything that you are to be. Uh, you don't have to show it to everybody if it's that that's part of your uh, private life. Which that makes sense for like what what is going on in your problems, what you do in life, because because uh, I've been growing up with uh, some of the people that are lesbians and uh, uh, homosexual couple like gay guys that are getting along, like other people aren't, you know, they are becoming straight uh, to understand what's going on in that kind of a uh, period situation at that time. So um, yeah, I I just I I know it kind of hurts for people like saying something like rude but uh for me i just don't even care because i i get along with people that are more supportive and more active to any any other sense or what they've gone through that that are coming out so uh it it kind of makes sense so uh um you know it's it's that's something you are proud of who you are so i just wanted to wish carl neffs the best and continue what he does for the raiders for this year so uh i i don't i don't bash him for any ways to what he becomes so um, you know he's a defensive end. What he does for everybody and his friends, uh, make them more, uh, make him more like more supportive in many ways. So uh, enough with that being said. Uh, with the Raiders, we're also getting into the news about the new playground park for the Raiders over at the Gary Reese Freeman Park. Now uh, the park is pretty amazing over there. Like for me, in my opinion, uh, some of the like Raider uh, legends, especially Raiderettes, were also helping them out with the park with the shovel uh, stuff that were going on in that uh, in that place. Uh, they even put out the uh, the big giant Raider helmet right there in the middle of the center during the the ceremony. So. Uh, one of the kids over there were at the ceremony uh, getting ready for the ribbon cut and they cut it and, you know just enjoying having a good time over at the Gary Park uh, what they do uh, what they done for the community of the Henderson over in Las Vegas so that's pretty amazing how they are you know having a good life over there so um, you know any park in many reasons for me in my opinion like any kids would go into any parks uh, Something they uh, they can do in general are just uh, fanta uh, fantastic. It's not like the playgrounds, something that you do like in the back of the elementary school or any schools in many reasons to have the kids to, you know, go play over there. So uh, Gary, uh, Gary Park for the Raiders is amazing. You know, hopefully one day when I go to Vegas, uh, I'll will might go see uh, check out the uh, park. Uh, what's something special over there? So uh, maybe I can play like in the swings or something. I'm just kidding, but um, I'm 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 getting too old for this uh, this t uh, type of stuff. So in the other news, over at the strip, there's also something that might be interest for me around in the middle of the city is the M and M's shop in La Las Vegas. What's so special about that shop, uh, amazing thing about M and M's is that I really love candy so much. Like. In that shop, there's like a big, huge tons of M&M's. 
uh, it's kind of like you're, like, in the Wonka place, like, the factory, and it's just, like, not that, not like the movie, but, um, one of my favorite candies, uh, for me, generally, is the Skittles Sour Patch Kids, and they are one of my best soury candy that I, I can ever eat in, uh, many ways, but not that much in, 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 in many ways, but I do also like the lollipops. Lollipops are great, because, uh, it's something good for me, uh, just to, you know, enjoy myself, like, after work, or something that you can relax on, and many types of reasons to, you know, buy some candy at the shop, uh, in Las Vegas, but, uh, hopefully, um, if there's any, like, reasons, like the Coca-Cola place, a uh, special place of, uh, Coke sodas, uh, they have, if they have the shop over there, if I looked into it, if, inside that coke uh what made me so proud of who i am just to be much that rich to you know buy the one of these bottles is just uh something i i more relaxing like maybe in the next summer uh enjoy myself in the strip but uh i do i really do like uh m&ms uh m&ms is something special to you know eat as a chocolate uh because for me i'm a fan of uh chocolate as well What's something special uh, thing news right now other than candies is the almost couple weeks away, baby. The NFL uh, Hall of Fame over at the Canyon, Ohio. So I can't wait to see Tom Flores and Charles Wilson being inducted. And something special for them, amazing. What they do for the Raiders community is something great in the history. And we're also ex uh, excited to see Wayne Mabry being inducted as the Pro Football Hall of Fans by Howie Long. Uh, as the violator, you know, hopefully he'll get into the Fox studio one day just to see, uh, sit down with, uh, Howie Long and have a, uh, have a words and interview with him, which pretty amazing. We can't wait to see him as well over at the, uh, Canon, Ohio. So, uh, yeah, uh, NFL, uh, NFL Hall of Fan, uh, I'm sorry, uh, NFL Hall of Fame is more something, uh, special for the legendary players to be inducted as well. Uh, it's something that new. I never been to Canton, Ohio before. Uh, hopefully, we'll see something. What's going on over there? And uh, uh, see any fans or other NFL fans over there? Just you know, getting inducted to the other uh, other teams as well. Uh, maybe something we can think about it when we when we go to the uh, Canton, Ohio to see Tom Flores and Charles Wilson being inducted, uh, especially uh, Wayne as well. So that's all I have for this news. Now it's time to get into the segment of the Raider Rants. Now, I want to say something special in this uh, Raider Rant right here today is the one and only Raiderettes. And uh, the cheerleaders, I really love them so much of what they do in the field, in the sideline, and what they do for cheerleading for the fans uh, to support the uh, team as well. Um, Raider, uh, Raider ads are cool though. I mean, they never changed their uniforms in many ways. Uh, when I when I think about it, like back in the days, they were might have some of the original uniforms, but later, I think um, around 80s or some uh, somewhere in that decade, they already uh, wearing uniforms as of today uh, with the white clothes in many ways but uh yeah Raider S I can't even think of like some of the names of the ladies that are current ones that are today that are something special for the Raiders uh they worked really hard and just dancing and cheerleading for what they do in the Raiders community but uh more beautiful in many ways and uh over like in top of the head but um yeah and uh, I know like the people like guys would jack off to them like for some reason but hey don't blame me, you know, don't blame them, but just, you know, enjoy what they're doing, so, uh, even especially, like, some of the ladies in the Raider Nation of the Raiderettes, like, any women's in their uniform costumes is something that people would go and, uh, take their autographs, like, you know, taking pictures with the kids, in some sense, like, um, yeah, it, it, it's more like something that's a hard work for, every ladies to step to uh, stepped up to what they do in their best uh what they do in their lives so uh, i gotta give more respectful for them and especially raider rats as well to the uh in the community of what they do uh to cheer for the team and give back to the community of the people in the organization so uh kudos to them raider rats you know i don't even care if i'm single or not hey you know i'm just proud of who i am in my opinion i just i'm just being me ladies but enough with that being said, we're now getting ready to check out the next segment right here, and that is called 
Raider memes. Now, we only have four memes that we're going to be checking in out uh, today. And so, uh, for the first meme that we're checking in, this picture right here, this is interesting or not interesting. Uh, this one is saying, step back. This is Raiders Nation. Raiders Nation? You can't put an S on there. It says Raider. Just put, I, I don't know, whatever. But, uh, yeah, the, you know, this in this picture, uh, this is the guy right there. It's just trying to stop like someone or whatever but i hey i'm not really sure if that is uh mark hamill right there or it kind of looks like him because he is from the uh star uh star wars that plays uh luke skywalker yeah I, i'm not really sure about that now for the next one right here uh this mean right here that says raider hater someone who who is mad that no matter what their record the raiders have more fans than their team Okay, well, this is a screenshot right here of Mike Myers as the uh, Dr. Evil from the uh, Austin Powers movie. Uh, uh, something that in the scene where he's just having this speech meeting like in like some sense. I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> I, I don't know what to say about that. Uh, the other one right here, it says, Ra uh, Hey Raiders, are you really to uh, get tucked in? <laughs> Wow, Tom Brady right there in the picture right here, just getting all angry and serious. <laughs> yeah, uh, there was also rumors about him, you know, might be joining the Raiders, but, you know, that's not true. I mean, he's into the uh, Tampa Bay uh, Buccaneers currently, uh, which eventually so. Uh, yeah, I know that the Patriots fans are just kind of upset that, about him leaving as a uh, quarterback to the uh, Buccaneers, so uh, I, I don't know what to say about it. Um, now for the final one right here, uh, for this one that says, anyone wants a free tickets to the comedy club? Comedy club? <coughs> There's no such thing as comedy club. I thought you were going to be selling out these, uh, Raiders tickets right here, uh, for the, uh, like, Chargers against the Raiders. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's not really like a comedy club. It's about sports, you know. Okay, people, you heard about me. It's about sports, okay? I, I kind of care for comedy a little bit, but it's just, it's, a, it's all about sports, you know? Ah, uh, what is it going to get over in my head when I even see those kind of a stuff? So, yeah, that's it for the uh, Raider memes. Now, for this segment right here, uh, the new one is called the Raider Reports and Skits, currently. Uh, for this one, we are featuring our friend right here from the Las Vegas area, Raider Puppet, our neighborhood right here. Uh, he recently went out to the uh, Las Vegas ballpark for the charity, softball charity, uh, to play Golden Knights against the Raiders. Um, you know, he went out there to, you know, find some of the reports over there and see all the fans were there. Uh, something doing, uh, something to do something special over there for the, uh, Vegas sports. So, uh, enough with that being said, let's go ahead and check out the report of Raider Puppet himself. One. Raider Puppet, what are we doing here today? We are at the battle for Vegas. The Vegas Golden Knights go up against your Las Vegas Raiders here at the Aviator Stadium in Las Vegas, Nevada. Come on inside, check out the game. Go Raiders. Go How many Raiders people are expected here today, Raiders? I think it's a full Bowman. house. I think it's a full house. I think you're going to see all kinds of Vegas people. You're going to see people rooting for the Golden Knights. You're going to see people rooting for the Raiders. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be fun. They're also going to have a home run competition. That should be exciting within the game. And one of the most popular people here is Marcus Allen of the Raiders. Un Unbelievable. Hall of Famer, Marcus Allen. There we go, people. Come on inside and check it out with me.
Hey, this is Raider Puppet down at Raider Stadium here in Las Vegas, Nevada. I'm standing here with Tim Cook. Tim Cook. Raider Tim from Orange County, California. Raider Tim from Orange County. What are you doing in Las Vegas right now, Raider? You know what? I just went ahead and moved here on February 1st for after 54 years in California. Why? So I can be with the silver and black. Another Raider transplant moving to Las Vegas. Yes, living the life. Living the life. I just spoke with Raider uh, Jester a minute ago. He also moved from California recently to Las Vegas as well. It's so what else brings you to Las Vegas? What's going on around here? You know here? what? The scenery, the desert life, big time, the cost of living costs a lot less here. Made a ton oh, yeah. of money on my house in Orange County. Oh, oh I bet you did. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. Fantastic. So, did, did anyone ever tell you that you kind of look look like a Bob Golick? Bob <laughs> Golick. Well, actually, uh, I'm a little thinner than Bob was uh, at the end of his career. That's for sure. Yeah, he was like but, 290. Uh, yeah, he was a big boy. I met him at one of the casinos in town years and years ago. So very nice, fantastic. Well, hey, listen, pleasure to meet you. You take care of yourself. Go Raider Nation. Raider Puppet, right back at you. Raiders, baby. Yeah. This is Raider Puppet down here at the Raider Image Store at the Las Vegas Raider Stadium. I'm with who? Joe. Joe, Joe, where are you from, Joe? San Diego. San Diego, California. Raider Puppet was actually born in San Diego, California. Dad was in the Navy. Everybody was born at that time. So, Joe, what brought you to Las Vegas today? Uh, baseball tournament, actually. Baseball. The kids' baseball tournament. Those things never end, do they? Nope. Oh, it goes on. I know. My brother does it every day. So, <laughs> so what else brings you to Las Vegas other than the Las Vegas Raiders? Uh, Las Vegas Raiders. Any gambling going on? Any partying? Or just pure baseball and Raiders? That's uh, kind of top secret. Top secret. Oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what that means, people, but I'm, I'm kind of concerned about my friend here. But anyway, Joe, appreciate your time. Take care of yourself. Good luck. Be safe and take care. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Raider Puppet, out. Raider Puppet, down here at the Raider Image Store at the Las Vegas Raider Stadium. And I'm with who? Martha. Martha. Where are you from, Martha? Santa Maria, California. Santa Maria, California. What brings you to Las Vegas other than the Raiders? To gamble. To gamble? Are you winning or losing? Winning. Wait. Win, no, wait, wait, someone's just winning around here? Mm -hmm. How are we going to pay the bills if you win all of our money here? It's not. Gee, ching <laughs> <laughs> uh oh <laughs> Sorry, forgot where I was at for a minute. Well, what do you got planned? Were you guys staying in town here? staying in the hotels? Staying at the Bally's. The Bally's Hotel Casino. Well, listen, I have pleasure talking to you. You take care of yourself. Be safe. Thank Enjoy you. our city. Look at Let's that go, Woodson Raiders. jersey. What's up, dogs? <laughs> Raider Nation, Raider Puppet, out. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Puppet here at the Raider Image Store at the Las Vegas Raider Stadium at the Hall of Fame wall. Take a look at these unbelievable names on the wall. Hey Raider Nation, it's Raider Puppet back at the Las Vegas Raider Stadium here in Las Vegas, Nevada. And guess who I'm joined with today? The Raider Jester and the Raider Goon here at the Raider Stadium. Oh yeah, everybody. This is going to be fun, fun business today here. Hey you guys, how are you guys? How are you guys doing? I'm doing fabulous, fabulous. Fantastic. I can't complain one bit. We're at home. So I understand that you moved to Las Vegas? I sure did. Okay. July 1st last year, with Vegas, all for the Raiders, baby. All fantastic, for fantastic. And Raider Goon, where are you from, my friend? I'm from LA. From Los Angeles. What are you coming out here today just to hang out with the Raider Nation? Oh, yeah, man. This is home. This all is home about now. Raider it's Nation. Closer. No, I'm here more often. All about Raider Nation, dear yep. people. All yeah. about Raider Nation. Fantastic. 
So what's the plan for the season? You guys gonna be doing some tailgating? Gonna hang out at the games? What's going on over here? You know, I'm doing it all. I'm doing it all. Whatever I, whatever I can afford this year, I'm running it all. I'm doing it all that. Well, we appreciate it. Our city appreciates everything. The Raiders appreciate it. Raider Nation Live. Hey, everybody. You guys take care. Have a great day. Great meet you guys. I'm sure we will hook up later on at some point, sometime. For sure. For Thank sure. you guys so much. Right Raider Nation, right. baby. <laughs> hey, cut. That's good. Hey, everybody. It's Raider Pub. I'm down here at the South Austin Beer Garden. What do you want now, Raider Pub? It's been a long day. Eddie Corpus Christi. San Antonio. Now I'm in Austin. At the South Austin Beer Garden. It's exhausting. Watching the game last night. <sighs> Raiders were winning. Then I blacked out. Too much tequila. You know how it is. Did they win? Did they lose? I'm still not sure. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Go Raider Nation. Wow. Puppet can't hold his liquor, huh, in Austin Beer Garden. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, shout-outs to uh, David Michaels for the footage of the uh, Las Vegas ballpark. I mean, that's amazing. That's amazing ballpark right here. Uh, especially Raider Nation, we're out there just cheering for the uh, softball charity events. So, that's amazing. Now, for this one, uh, this is something special from our, our friend, Oakland Raiders Savage, which I would call it like that, but <laughs> Savage, uh, he have been receiving these footage from the evolution of his time as a character uh, from the beginnings in Oakland. So uh, let's go ahead and check it out, what what happened in those footage in the evolution for many years uh, from Savage himself. So uh, let's go ahead and check these out. The ghost of Macho Man. Boo! Yeah! That's awesome. Boo! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> we'll talk like this all day, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And the NFL's most notorious fan group, extra special. Still. Oh yeah, when I see you going down, yeah, you see this, you see this, Arcadio. Are you Raiders having the Red Mars? Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Hey, 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 hey it's gonna be Red Mars versus Asylum in the game. Super Bowl. Why? You're gonna lose. I go. Hey, no, hey, so, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, you are making. Kansas City, look out, because we got the tiebreaker. We win and you lose. First place, baby, right here. Hey, why are you here? I don't know what's going on over here. I thought this was a little church for you here. I was looking for Disney. Welcome to church. Paxton, you're going down. Lynch, we'll be all over you, running through everything. Khalil Mack is coming after you. Ooh, yeah. Where are we at? We're in the open Coliseum. Oh yeah, Monday Night Football. In the original house of pain, our church, and tonight we're sacrificing lamb. Oh yeah, let me know how you like it. Medium well? I like mine. Very rare because I want to taste the blood. Oh yeah, Jerry Goff, you're going down. No Mac, no problem. Oh yeah. yeah. Here we go once again with the one and only. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. 
I don't care what's going on. They was getting traded, I don't care. Andrew Luck, you're going to need some luck today. Or our rookies are going to come after you. Oh, yeah. Championship belt. That's how we do it in Raider Nation. Oh, yeah. John Gruden, let's step it up. I want to see this crowd. Get that W today. I'm tired of this. Oh, yeah. I dig it. Oh, yeah. Remember, no Mac, no problem. Moving here, we're live here in Raider Nation, Ricky Sports Bar, oh yeah, Patriots are going down like that ball did 16 years ago, because you know that was a fumble, oh yeah, don't send a pigeon, do Eagle's job, oh yeah, welcome to the Black Club, one last time, we're out here live, because we got to represent Raider Nation, Jordan Mushroom, you step on the field, we're going to come down on you, this Mitchellania, and today, it's all about the madness, Ooh, and the yeah. big dog, Ooh, yeah. big dog, yeah. he's coming to deliver a punishment and pain. Ah, yeah, dig it. Yeah. Raider Nation, welcome to Champ right here. This guy's fighting the real battle right here, and he's going to win because he's part of Raider Nation. And we breed winners right here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Raider Nation, right here. The real Champ right here. Mega powers are strong right here. Raider Nation, Raider Nation, let's say this real quick. These championships, oh yeah, I won my legends. Ken Stabler, Phil Villapiano, Marcus Allen, Lion Zato, all the veterans, Willie Brown. This is Dogs for Champions. I'm going to give this belt to Elijah. <laughs> Champion! He's gonna be a champion too. Yeah. Yes, indeed. You got this. Okay, come on. 76, 80, 83, and 27. Oh, right oh yeah! Oh yeah! This is the champion right here. <laughs> oh yeah! This belt, you're a champion right here. This is a victory. This is how we do it right here. Oh yeah! With the mega powers combined right here, we're gonna do everything right here. Get that W on for tonight, and get that W for Elijah. Oh yeah, Raider Nation, dig it! Woo! Raiders! The Raider Nation is united when they see the Pirates. Fans get excited. No one got the opposition get quiet when I hit the field with my. Come and get it. The Raider Nation, we need to dance all night. Can we get it? Oh yeah. yeah! This is how we do it in Santa Maria. We're the ship. Not only did it bring Columbus over, it was a team that beat the Santa Maria. <laughs> oh yeah! Maybe be sporting that boy. Man, Randy Savage, bro! Holy shit! Yeah! Hey, I gotta take a picture with him. We got oh, yeah,
<laughs> Savage is giving the moves right here in that party in the dance way. Dance floor in the many ways, but <laughs> I'm kidding. Yeah, shout outs to you, Savage. Uh, speaking of that, uh, we would like to do this final one for the uh, Raider dedication right here. Uh, this dedication right here is one of the members of the Black Hole, one of the founder of the main founder of the Black Hole that we lost for around the uh, 2019. Mid-2019 is the guy named Dave Monzo. Uh, Shoutouts to Robert Vera for hooking that up for the uh, dedication. But uh, Dave Monzo is something special for the uh, the Black Hole over in Hayward. That uh, the Black Hole gang have already started around the late 1994 when the Raiders have uh, went to L.A. at the time. Uh, before they returned back to Oakland. Uh, they had this idea about the, uh, like I said, they had this idea of putting like the uh, fan base culture uh, community for the uh, Raider Nation over at the Oakland Coliseum to spread like the black hole uh, cheering and other Raider fans uh, more supportive for the uh, things that's going on. But yeah, Dave's something special. I never met him before in many ways because I, in the Telgi I've known uh, Doug G, Raider Rob, uh, Black Hole Rob, and some of the others like uh, Black Hole Skull. Yeah, I haven't seen him for a long time, but uh, yeah, I mean I give a give a credits for the uh, Dave Monso because it's never been heard or uh, heard of for what he done because he I know he's kind of a rarest person but uh for what he done in the community what he creates for the black hole is something special for the Raider Nation but uh sending condolences to the uh, Monsos family and some of the others uh some of his friends uh cheers in his life uh just to wish him nothing but the best and uh yeah may you rest in peace Dave Monso so uh I don't really I don't even know what to say about it but yeah, that's a, that's a deep history. Alright, uh, it's time for me to get out of here, Raider Nation. I really appreciate you enjoying the show. Uh, before I get out, make sure you hit the like, comment, and subscribe below. Uh, you can also follow me on social media. Uh, Facebook, it's at Raider Art Productions. Twitter, it's at Raider Art 21. And on Instagram, like I said, it's at Raider Art 21. Those are the three social media that I have uh, currently today. So, uh, uh, no thoughts or opinions for that, but the, uh, the Raider Nation is still strong, keep it going, uh, hopefully Garun will might do his best to be a head coach for this year, try to get the team be more successful than it is in Vegas, so, uh, yeah, and also the NFL Hall of Fame is coming up soon, so a couple weeks away, baby, yeah, uh, you can get your tickets now and get into the airport for the Canada, Ohio to check out the, uh, inductees, so, uh, yeah, I'm prepared as well. So, thank you, Raider Nation. And until next time, this is Raider Art. I'm signing out. Uh, peace and love and positivity for you, all of you. And I'll talk to you guys next time.